So I woke up this morning and I was thinking about prosperity and abundance and how we have to create space for that. And I was thinking about my vessel and how through this ascension journey, we have been learning how to plug the leaks in what is coming into us so that we can create this vessel to capture everything it is that we are to receive and especially love, prosperity, abundance. I also was thinking about how some of us have different size containers and that no matter where we are in this ascension journey, we are to evolve and expand ourselves. And that no matter where we are in this journey, we are to become more open and more expansive and more allowing ourselves to receive all the things it is we deserve and desire. So I started thinking about how this ascension journey has been helping us plug the leaks so that we can raise our vibration and that we can contain and hold more of the things that we desire. But in that process now we're enlarging our containers and so we need to be more prepared for our vessels to become bigger. So today I'm going to share with you five ways that can help you expand yourself through this ascension process that helps you become more open to what it is you want to receive. Hello fellow flames. In case we haven't met, my name is Dr. Harmony and I hope you live fearless, live loved, and live free. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when all my videos and content come live. So when it comes to plugging the leaks in this vessel, we need to really realize that we've been doing a lot of work in order to raise our vibration and to help us be able to contain what it is we desire. But in the container of that, number one, if we're trying to receive something, number one, if you're not clear on what it is you're trying to receive, then the universe doesn't know how to meet you or match you into the vibration of what it is that you're technically wanting, but you're not clear on. On the flip side of that, you might know what it is you desire, but you don't have the space for it in your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, in your life, in your reality. And we have to create the space in order to have the open and available energy to receive what it is we're actually wanting as well. And speaking of new things to come, I am so excited to be releasing a new seven day cleanser chakra challenge that I will be doing here on video. It's gonna start on Sunday and one video a day is going to release in order to target one chakra each day over the seven day period that will help you cleanse, clear, and balance and also heal the chakras in your system in order to create space in your body to up-level your vibration. So make sure to stay tuned and mark your calendar for Sunday and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when these videos are released so that that way you can begin to cleanse your chakras over the next seven days. So we might think that we want to receive but if we're not clear on what it is we desire, then the universe doesn't know how to meet us and match us in order to deliver what it is that we're actually desiring. So in addition to that though, you might know what you want and you might have a desire for what you want and you might think you're open to receiving what you want, but if you haven't created the space in your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, your life, in your space, in your physical reality, then there is no room for what you're desiring to come in. And we think of these things in prosperity or abundance coming from a place of money. Abundance and prosperity doesn't just come in the form of money. It can come in the form of the ability to have time, um, to time to do the things you want, to invest the time into your passions and your purpose and have more fulfillment or to be more connected in your social life. You have to create the space. If you are not open to receiving that, it's not going to happen if you don't prepare for that. In addition to that, it could be your health. Maybe you need better habits and more focus on nutrition and exercises and the things that's going to make you feel good from the inside out. That is an abundance of health. We have harmonic wealth, basically, that can be representation of the pillars of our life that creates freedom and within us that helps us open up and as we open up and we feel more free and more flowing, then you know these resources of our time and our talent and our spiritual gifts and all of those things become a bucket of abundance. 
And of course, we might need to get super clear on that where I just gave you a generalized overview of some of the things that could represent prosperity. But in order to fill up that bucket, you really do have to know what it is that you're desiring to receive. And in addition to that, you have to focus on the ways to expand to create the space for it. So today I'm going to take you on a journey inside of my online course, The Reinvent the New You. And in that course, I'm going to share with you some ways that you can begin to expand your mindset, expand your vision expand your heart so that you're letting down the walls and you're opening up and you're expanding your identity to become who it is that you're desiring to be or that you came here to be and all of that representing the harmony from the inside out being able to expand and create space in your life to fill in those things that you desire so stay tuned because i'm going to take you on a journey to reinvent the new you we're going to focus on five areas that will help you transform from within so that you can then increase that vibration and elevate that frequency so then you can end that upgrade of that, be able to expand it from the inside out of you as you step in to the new you in the process. So the first thing we're gonna do is expand your mindset. With each of these areas of focus, I'm going to give you an exercise that will help set an intention to help accomplish what it is that we're setting out to help you do within each part of this five areas of focus. So our first area of focus will be to expand your mindset. We want you to go through this process of being able to think outside of the box and really start to take a look at who am I and doing it from a place of your future, your highest version of you to be able to say, I am dot, dot, dot. And there'll be an exercise after each one of these areas of focus that will help you implement the tips, the tools, the techniques I'm going to be teaching you so that you can integrate within that information that we're trying to extract from these, these exercises and this process so that you can embody this in a sense that you are becoming who it is that you desire to become. The second area that we're going to focus on is expanding your vision. Without vision and direction, you are not clear on what it is and where it is that you're going into this highest version of you. The first thing that will be so important for you to do within that is to commit to your highest version of you and to say yes to that expanded vision of who it is you want to become. Again, there'll be an exercise that will walk you through this. The third thing we want to do is expand your heart's desires. We need to focus on bringing your heart in harmony and you'll be writing a letter even to your future self in this process so that you can really get clear from a heart standpoint, not a head standpoint on what your future looks like. And the fourth thing, we're going to expand your identity. So, and to do that, then basically it's going to be taking a look at who am I? Why am I here? What are my gifts? And being able to integrate and embody and get super clear on what those things are. So that in number five, you can expand this harmony from the inside out into your life and create the harmony from the inside out. And now, not just who are you, but what is it in your life? What does your life look like? So you can really get super clear on the picture of your partners, your livelihood, the experiences that you want to experience. So there'll be, again, an exercise that will assist you with that. This whole process will be a leering process to go through an evolution of an unfolding within side of you and it's more painful to stay constricted in that box and to stay limited in, than it is to allow yourself to expand. What you do to get out of that is, is surrender and in the letting go is to know I don't necessarily know who that version of me is to become, 
But I am willing to allow the pieces and the fragments of myself to, to recollect those, to allow myself to unfold in such a way that I discover who I am in the process of being able to get to know this new version of you in such a way that it's in divine order and it also then aligns perfectly with the inner vibration so that you're integrating the two between your internal and your external your internal vibration with your external world and you're integrating those in such a way that you become one from within to everything around you it's going to be a beautiful process so let's get started so make sure to check out some resources I have for this online course that I have created as some free resources and exercise for you to experience. It's going to help you do these things. And I'm also going to create a five part series, share with you ways that you can accomplish these five areas of expansion. If you happen to like the course and the information, the free resources that I've provided for you in this video, and the link is below, make sure to also check out my all course bundle that I released a couple weeks ago that's putting all the courses that I've done to date into one bundle that's releasing them at a discounted price because I'm at a place in my life where I'm letting go of what things that I've created in order to create the space for more room for new things to come. So I hope you like going inside that course with me for me to share with you on a deeper level these ways that can help you be able to expand your vessel to open up to receive all it is that you want as you start to recreate this new identity and learn more about and discover more of what you desire. These resources are gonna be free and they're going to assist you. So make sure to get plugged into the link below. Make sure to let me know how that you're like the resources and how they're helping you. And may you always face your fears, find freedom and glow forward on fire. Namaste.